Time now for Tiso to bring us on the clock as we look at the East and talk about a question that continues to be raised, especially with the injuries of Boston. That is, who is the most dangerous team in that conference heading into the playoffs? The Cavaliers have played better. You know the Raptors are deeper. Candace, I'll put you on the spot first. Most dangerous team in the East right now if the playoffs were to start tomorrow is who? I mean, they're playing for playing in the finals against the Western Conference. So, I mean, I guess Toronto, Toronto's playing well. Their bench is playing well. Uh, DeMar DeRozan is balling. Kyle Lowry, uh, Baca's playing well. But I think they're all playing to play the Western Conference. Yeah. Very political. That's very the question. Good Way to give I mean, an I try. I try, but I, I think. If I asked you Tennessee or First, second games, place. Would you just say all of them? I mean, I'm not going to say all of them, but it's Houston. I mean, I think Houston and Golden State is the, the championship. All right, don't show up, second. East. Who do you got, Z? Uh, <laughs> so I think Toronto's the best team in the East right now. And, but the question is, who's the most dangerous? And I would say Philadelphia is the most dangerous if Embiid is, you know, is healthy. Because I think with Simmons and Embiid, they definitely can upset anybody playing right now. And we'll have more on that when Ben joins us coming up in just a bit. How about you? I love you both, but you're both wrong. Uh, Toronto doesn't have enough experience. Mr. Larry is definitely going to have to show up. Philadelphia's too young. They're, they're talented, but they're not there yet. I, I got to go with Cleveland and LeBron. But we didn't say who's the best. We said dangerous. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland's the best, and they're the most nope, dangerous. I said they're the most dangerous. Because right now, early people counting out. They got four or five new guys, but I, I think LeBron's going to find a way to pull it together. Because remember, he's not a guy that's ball dominant. He's going to keep these guys right. involved. And all it takes is one or two guys on the road. But don't, we expect, nice game. don't we expect LeBron and Cleveland to be... What? But they're, yeah, but they're not talked about as if they're the best now. People always still talk about Boston. They still talk about Toronto. They just think Cleveland's there. I think Cleveland's coming out of the East. Well, what version of Boston is, is the question? Because, look, Jalen Brown, I know you know well. I mean, you got to be proud of him. Yeah. Another big three just a couple nights ago to win a game. But he and Tatum have taken on a big load. you got the Kyrie injury. Marcus Smart is out. I mean, that team's kind of broken right now, no? I, I think with, without a healthy Kyrie Irving, um, you know, they they just won't have enough in the playoffs because when you look at, you know, the two weapons that they got in terms of Tatum and Brown, you know, you can game plan for, for, for those guys. You know, you can't really game plan for a Kyrie Irving because he has the NBA playoff championship experience and he knows how to get his shot when the play breaks down. You can't really depend on Tatum and Brown yet to do the things that Kyrie Irving does for your basketball team. But if you're talking big picture, and that's Danny Ainge, what he's doing with Jalen Brown and Tatum, getting them ready for the future. Yeah. When Gordon Hayward comes back, it, it's, I mean, it's a wrap, I think. With him, a healthy Kyrie, him next year, I think is Boston coming out yeah. of the East, especially if LeBron leaves like everybody's saying he's leaving. Well, am I crazy to say just real quick, dangerous in the first round? Indiana? Pose any kind of a factor for anybody to at least take them deep in a series in the first round? No, I, I, I hear you laughing. No, nobody, I, I, nobody no likes I, think, I think all oh. these series. I mean, look, Nate's done a great job with that team. I think all these series, I think all the first round series, yep. East and West, yep. will go six to seven games. I don't see like sweeps coming in. Can you, by the way, Shaq, real quick before we, can you show, how did you clean your glasses? Can you show us? Oh. Yeah, show new, everyone how, how you clean your glasses because we were admiring this. Has glasses. anyone ever seen this before? You pour it right there and then you can see the H2O molecules form on the glasses, right? <laughs> and then you shake it around like this and then you whip it back like that and then you just bam. Why don't you just put the drop on and then bam? I don't want to put a drop. I want to look at the H2O molecules. And then you put them all like that and then you just sit back and be like... Anyone? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> you have that, transition lenses? That went over my head. I don't know what that yeah. means. I think it gets dark in the sunlight. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>